Hello there, everybody! Bunna here, and welcome to a quick ARC tutorial on how to easily find and catch some big fish. If you're watching this, then you're more than likely trying to tame a shadow main, and you're looking for the best fish possible to get the best taming effectiveness. If that's the case, then you're in the right place, good sir and or madam. The method that I'm about to show you can also be used to find fish to catch with a fishing rod and bait, but it's more geared towards taming shadow mains. Speaking of which, I've posted a complete tutorial video on how to tame and use a shadow main, and I've shamelessly put the link in the description below, as well as at the end of this video. <laughs> you should click it! That's a good video! Merchandising! Alright, so let's get started! The method that I'm about to show you works best on Genesis Part 2, but technically can work on any map if you have a full tech suit and element to spare. To utilize this method, you will require the following items. A Federation exosuit, or a full suit of tech armor and element to power it. A spyglass, or HLNA a wooden cage, fish baskets, cryopods, and a good ranged weapon to deal with some of the nasties in the area, preferably a pump shotgun or a crossbow. Once you have all your supplies in order, you can begin taking off all of your clothes and lathering your whole body and- uh, Oh, wait a second, that's the wrong tutorial. Oh, shit! So to begin, we're going to be taking advantage of the Federation Exosuit's jetpack and visibility features to find ourselves the biggest fish possible, preferably over 2.0x in size to get the best taming effectiveness. To fly with the exosuit, simply press and hold the spacebar. To hover in the air without gaining any height, hold the shift key. If you would like a speed boost while flying, you can either tap the control key for a quick boost, or hold it down to cover a large amount of ground quickly. The helmet's visors can be cycled by pressing and holding the R key. By using the suit's jetpack, you're able to hover just over the bodies of water in Genesis Part 2, and when combined with the visor's ability to pulse the location of nearby creatures, you can quickly check the size of larger silhouetted fish by using your spyglass or HLNA. This makes finding larger fish exponentially easier, as you can quickly scan large areas of water in a short amount of time. On the screen now is a map where I've highlighted the areas that I've found to be the best locations to search for big fish. Personally, I like to stick with the narrow waterways in the northeastern section of the map, as well as the two smaller lakes at the bottom of the map. There are two main reasons for this. The first reason is that you can start at one end of a river and basically fly in a straight path to the other end while scanning for fish. This ensures that you're covering the entire area properly, as opposed to the larger lakes where you'd have to do multiple sweeps of the area and would potentially not see the larger fish that move their positions frequently. The second reason is that when it comes time to catch the fish in the river, it is vastly easier to trap it and catch it inside of a fish basket as opposed to larger lakes, as they're already close to the surface of a train that you can use to your advantage. While I would love to show you all a spot where you're guaranteed to find large fish, it just simply doesn't exist. From my understanding of spawn points in the game, fish will spawn at completely random sizes, However, the larger sizes have a much less chance of spawning than the smaller sizes. Combine this with all the f***ing ducks in the area that are constantly eating the fish that have spawned, and you're left with a bit of a search in your hands. I won't lie to any of you, the process of locating big fish is both time-consuming and tedious, but this method definitely makes it a lot easier. When you're scanning for fish in the area, try to hover just out of reach of the aggressive creatures, but close enough that your visor pulse will reveal the fish locations. As I mentioned before, finding large fish over 2.0x in size can be very time-consuming and tedious, so be patient and look thoroughly. Once you've located a fish you'd like to catch, quickly clear the area of Hespiornis first, as they will more than likely kill the fish you're trying to catch. Next, you're going to want to kill all the hostile creatures in the area that might try to eat your face off. Once the area is clear, jump in the water and place your wooden cage around the fish you're trying to catch. This will essentially trap the fish in place so that you can place your fish basket next to it. Fish baskets have about an 8 second initialization timer before they can be used to catch a fish, so using the wooden cage in conjunction with this ensures that you'll catch large fish when you want to. Sometimes if the fish is swimming too fast or the water is too deep, using giant bee honey can be useful for luring the fish towards the terrain so you can place the cage around it. Once you've caught a fish, there's a spoil timer associated with the fish basket. The spoil timer can be refreshed by placing the fish basket on your hotbar and submerging yourself in water. With this in mind, you'll more than likely not be using this method until the shadow main taming process begins. This is because you'll need quite a few large fish to tame a high-level shadow main with decent taming effectiveness, and you'll more than likely be catching these fish over a few days' time. In order to keep the fish alive and safe longer, I would recommend releasing them and cryopotting them. Fish do not suffer from cryosickness, so when the time comes to tame a shadow main, simply throw down all the cryopods in a body of water and re-catch the tamed fish using fish baskets once again. And yeah, that's pretty much it! Simply repeat the process of scouring the waterways using your exosuit's visor enhancement, clear the area of hostiles, trap the desired fish with a wooden cage, and catch it using a fish basket. This has been by far the best method I've found for finding and catching fish, and has enabled me to tame multiple shadow mains with perfect taming effectiveness. Alright, well that about wraps up this video! If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave this video a like down below, 
subscribe to the channel with notifications on to stay up to date on all of my latest content, join the Discord for an awesome community of like-minded woodland creatures, and please keep leaving me comments because... Merchandising! Where the real money from the movie is made!